Mr. Seely, welcome to Ronaldstown Christmas Market. Thank you. And what on earth are you doing at a Christmas market? You've been a motorbike man. Well, Eileen Warwick contacted me a wee while ago there and she says, do you fancy coming down, bringing the bike, bringing posters and DVDs and stuff? So I said, no bother, I'll come down and spend a few hours in mingling with the crowds and I've obviously had a burger and stuff already. So lovely job, a bit cold, but enjoying the crack. Yes. And you've won uh, 21 Northwest 200 race victories. Uh, that's pretty special, isn't it? Yeah, well, we managed to get four this year. Um, took it from 17 to 21. So it's one of them ones where we go back next year and try and add to that total. It's not going to be easy, you know, the caliber of riders every year, but we're going to keep knocking on the door and keep pushing hard. And I'm in the middle of sorting out my teams for next year. So hopefully there'll be an announcement very soon. Now it's Christmas time coming, Alistair. Do you like? Do you enjoy Christmas? I love it. The miss is actually a way of spending my money there. My <laughs> hard-earned cash on decorations and little light-up things where we can put into the living room. So she's in the process of putting bits and bobs together every night, and the tree will be going up. I think as soon as it hits next week, the tree will be up. So it's good because Olivia is obviously eight months old now, and Lewis is up, and Lewis has got a nice big present for. Uh, for next year, but we'll not spill the beans on that. Uh, I think you'll be very happy on Christmas Day. Okay. And uh, are you a good boy? Now? Have you wrote your letter to Santa already? Yeah, I'm always a good boy. Um, I write it, send it up the chimney, and hopefully I get what would I ask for. And, and what you know, would you like Santa to bring you this year, Alistair? Uh, let me see. Well, obviously a couple of contracts for next year would be nice for for, for to get a job. Um, just the usual. I'll probably get the smellies, the socks, the trunks. Um, um, it's all about keeping the, the children happy and obviously Danny. Well, have you any memories yourself at Christmas? Is, was, what, would, what would say would be one of the most memorial, memorable um, a Christmas presents you ever got from Santa? Um, probably my first motorbike back when I was about three years of age or four years of age. and Obviously it stood by me. We've been racing bikes for a long time now and I've thanks to my dad for getting me involved in motorbikes in the first place. And what present, what is, what, can you remember what one present that really disappointed you? One present what, sorry? That disappointed you? Uh, no, no, <laughs> every present's good. You, an apple and an orange, maybe? To, to, and I wasn't that, uh, I was always kind of blessed, I wouldn't say spoiled, but I was blessed that I got a lot of stuff uh, wrapped for me and put on the city every year. Um, I will tell you a wee story about one year, I was actually a, a bad boy where I got up in the middle of the night and actually opened everybody's present, so oh, dear, that, dear. that didn't go down too well. Oh, that's terrible. Um, so yeah, I was a bad boy that year. I wasn't the, the favourite boy on the Christmas table that day. Well, I remember um, my mama used to make me leave biscuits and milk for Santa, but when I went up to bed, I sneaked down again and I left them extra biscuits. Right. <laughs> yeah, we love to do all that now. Obviously, the reindeers get their cards, Santa gets a... Uh, a glass of coke or a biscuit or something like that and leave the crumbs scattered around the place so as whenever the winds get up they, they think he's been there so Lewis is actually at the age now where he doesn't believe but with Lewis's present this year you know he's involved in motocross and stuff so it's a bit of a teaser of what he's getting all the motocross kit that comes with it and then obviously Olivia she's eight months she'll be nine months Christmas time so it'll be next year's her big one um, but the place is coming down with presents at the minute and what about all your um, race, fitness and training? Does that go out the window at Christmas? Do you enjoy a, a good big feed of turkey and stuff? Not so much at Christmas time. It's actually from the last race, uh, middle of October, which was the Sunflower. Until December, I usually kick back. Training's only really ticking over at the minute for me. It's football on a Tuesday night, maybe a bit of motocrossing during the week. Um, but apart from that, it's just enjoying family time, eating what I want to eat, grow a beard from November. And then December, as I say, it's only next week that we're back into it. So it'll be back to the training a couple of times a day and getting myself, lose a bit of timber for next year. So as when it does come Christmas, we can uh, spoil ourselves for a and few days. And we have a favourite Christmas carol, Alistair. <laughs> not really, no. I'm not, I'm not one for music. You tell sing. me, Gavin. You, you tell me what's your favourite. You couldn't sing Merry Christmas for us, no? No, no I'm Hopefully not a very good singer, no. Okay, and we'll just have a look at one of your uh, presents here. Wow. That's a big present. That's a big present. That's a very good boy to get that. Tell me about this present. That's uh, the IFS Yamaha Superbike R1. Uh, I was doing a few... Happy Christmas again, Alistair. Thank you. Thank you.
Christmas, Daniel. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And what's Santa going to be bringing you? I don't know, I've been a good girl this year, so uh, a new handbag probably. <laughs> and Alistair, uh, are you hoping Santa will bring you something special this year? I hope he brings me lots and lots of stuff. I've been a very good boy. Three. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas.